tiny wires and stuff that are on the ground that are ch- partially chewed. I'm like that's not good. So I'm like, I need to drive this around the block just to make sure this is still going. Cause surely the rats didn't just remove some wiring that is unnecessary for the car. <laughs> I drive it around a little bit. It's not driving well. Like it's not like shifting <laughs> properly. It's just a mess. Whenever, whenever there's a potential problem with the car, always drive it. Yeah, drive to it. Figure, <laughs> figure out. When I got home, I was just like, where's my baby? Give me my baby. (laughs) Get over here, baby. Your services are needed. really special because we're actually recording in our guest's almost bedroom so he doesn't have anywhere to go (laughs) he can't escape from this but uh he's actually laying in bed right now he's laying in bed we just moved the equipment in my head's up against the wall his hands on my neck and i'm like i don't know what i'm doing (laughs) i don't but but i know i'm down 45 grand and all i really want to do right now is teach golf So. Rattleproof snake your dog. So he's, this guy's making like 300 bucks an hour when he does it to show up and do and rattlesnake And by rattlesnake training. proofing, you mean your dog gets bit once and they decide I'm never doing that again? <laughs> well, uh, there's an Orange County version of this I've learned in LA. Gray Monday, 19.9%. That will be strong. Windowsill, 10.5%. A little bit calmer, down to the Orchard Wit, which may be more of a day drinker, a marquee drinker. He's the master of mics, the nibbler of knobs, the lord of the lenses. And when we're at the brewery, he is the (laughs) sultan. Nibbler of knobs? (laughs) Darn. (laughs) And when we're at the brewery, he is the sultan of sours. Mark, Mm. power flower. Yeah. You know that I can't take no more. It ain't no lie. <laughs> that's an ambi- that's an ambitious. It is. Yeah, it's a that's I a project. I wanna see you out that door, baby. Bye bye bye. See, I'm already <laughs> for for those of you listening at home. It is a pink, bright pink members only jacket. It has some sort of military straps on the top on the shoulders. Epaulets, I believe. Uh, Epaulets. Yes, technical that's the technical term for it. This used to fit me. It uh, certainly does not fit, Mark. It is short, and uh, the How sleeves did... are too short. Whoa, whoa, and... <laughs> whoa. How did that used to fit you? What does that even mean?
writers for the hit comedy TV show, Bob's Burgers, good friends of the podcast, members here at Member Guests, most importantly, good friends of ours, Kelvin Yu and Stephen Davis. Woo-hoo! Thanks for having us back. Right. It's an honor. It's an honor to be back. Who walks and walks and walks and yet never grows angry. Who? A nomad. Peace, that's my time. <laughs> <laughs> See how easy life is when you just joke around, guys? <laughs> Okay. Life is just a lot of fun. I have uh, booked a flight from a porta potty before in the middle of a round two. What? <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. How did why, that happen? Why did you book that flight? I was going to miss the cut, and I wanted to <laughs> see if I could get out of there that night. What you're about to listen to is one of those historic conversations. Welcome to the Member Guest Podcast. Welcome to Member Guest. I had like a fur vest. Fur vest, no shirt I mean, on. it was so great. Like the clothing was, <laughs> I think they went to like Goodwill and just grabbed a bunch of nice. stuff and they found overalls for Bubba and Ricky we made, you know, into a pop singer, which makes sense, right? <laughs> you know, we were like trying to come up with a name. Maybe it was going to be the Provisionals. You know, that was kind of like our first name. It's probably like been that. actually better. I kind of like, like, like everything like I think a, about it. Like a quartet. I kind of like, like that. A, <laughs> a cappella group or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, okay, 6 a.m. call time. I'm not going to be needed till like 9 at the earliest. So I'll get there at like 7.30. Right? This is this is my thinking in my head. I get there at 7.30. I'm the first guy in the band there. I didn't shoot a shot. Like, I didn't do uh, anything in that video until 9 p.m. that night. <laughs> true story at 9 p.m i was sitting there just being like okay i've played like the hurry up one wait game i've been patient enough like went on to set 44 school records is that right you did your research i did a little research only 44 school records that's true (laughs) we might have to list them all at some point tonight (laughs) Most passing yards in the third quarter of an October game. <laughs> round of golf. Yes, and it was, was a kiss your sister round of golf. No money exchanged hands, which was pretty bittersweet for you guys because of the putt I made on 17. Yeah, that was a big putt. That actually really hurt. <laughs> 17 hurt for a lot of reasons. We had some moments. It's not a great story. I'll tell you the point of it is that we missed a turn and we ended up literally 500 miles away from where we were supposed to be. <laughs> More or less. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, I, we I, were I, in the wrong state.